Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Grant, how do the whistles sound? Come here. Those are... Come over here. How long is your show, William? Those are coming in pretty good. Two and a half hours. <laughs> An hour. <laughs> Uh, I have us up and rolling. Good joke. <laughs> you're fine for two and a half hours. Right? Yeah, well, like, what? Because I'm here, you're not doing longer? Yeah, it's just a new thing we're working on. New place, yeah, right. new you, concept. You're like a five-hour fucking podcast. New place, new concept. I mean, okay. that's what... Yeah, they used to be really long. Just tell but, the truth. Oh, it, yeah, they used to be super long. Grant said they were getting too long, so we had to... Sure, William. We just had cut to, the fat. Yeah, we had to cut the fat. Okay. So this is the new and improved. We had to cut the epilogue. Yeah. That epilogue was my favorite part. <laughs> yeah. God, we don't want to hear that. Great name for a kid, by the way. Epilogue. <laughs> that is a great... beautiful name for a kid. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. Well, I, we hate to hear that you like the epilogue and now the epilogue Loved is not a it. part of it. So many people love it, man. Grant, we said people like the epilogue. People love your epilogues, man. Do you really want to bring it back? Casey, do we want to... I don't even know. It was probably more trouble than it was worth. They're harder to write than monologues. Yeah. That's one of the problems. Because a lot of people confuse that. They would think a monologue might be a little more difficult. Gets people killed. (laughs) Serious? Getting the monologue confused with the epilogue? Yeah, that was like uh, in the 1800s. That was... That'd get your head chopped off. Is that what happened to Oscar Wilde? Yep. Mm -hmm. Happened to Lincoln, too. And Lincoln. Fucking Lincoln. Yeah. Yep. He didn't know shit about anything. JFK. JFK. They went to that play. Yeah, they were doing... Somebody did the epilogue before... The monologue. The monologue, and he got shot. Hello, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Oh, yes. Hello, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. Great play. That is a great one. Not a lot of people know that that was actually... It wasn't whatever they say it was. It's Hello, Dolly. Yeah. Was the play, because it gives Hello, Dolly a bad rap. It was going to be Hello, Baphomet. Did you know that? <sighs> that's too satanic. Was it really going to be? They, the, that's what the people who were trying to make money said. That was the critique of the writers. You can't do that. Make it Dolly. <laughs> well, it's and probably make it not like a hermaphroditic goat headed thing. Or the goat headed thing. And then the, it was a hit. So they were right. Sometimes notes are good. Yeah. Every now and again. I think that dinosaurs movie, what did the little baby one say? I'm the baby or you're the mama. What you're is the it? mama? Not the mama. Not, Not the, mama. the mama. Not the mama. Not the mama. I think that was a writer's note in the writer's room. Somebody said, get the little baby one to say that one. Yep. And people loved it. It's the best. It's their catchphrase. It's my ring on my phone. Really? Yeah. Oh, my Not God. the mama? Yeah. When it rang. Not the mama. Not the mama. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just goes over. <laughs> Sorry, I got to take this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there it is. That sweet little dinosaur so with the sweet. egg, the egg britches, big britches. I think that popularized egg britches once that <laughs> came out with that. Yeah, it did. I remember that whole egg britches thing. It was so fun at the raves. Everybody was wearing that. Oh, were people doing egg britches at the raves? Yeah, damn. yeah. There, it was, it, but people kept getting cut on the edges of the damn things. That was the problem. They never figured out how to fix that. People making them too sharp. Well, yeah, because if you use like a soft fabric, that it kind of looks like a flower. Oh, I see. That makes a lot of it sense. It folds in and stuff. So you would have to do the hard edges. And then it became a thing where like the sharper the edges were, like it was cooler. The harder you work on it, the rave. This, yeah, because, uh, yeah, it's like to, to dance in those things without cutting yourself when they're super sharp, it's almost impossible. Especially your upper arms, it looks like. That's Slice up spot. your arms, and the whole thing fell apart when that kid got disemboweled in Orlando. Mm-hmm. Like, he pat, he went into a K-hole and, like, 
folded forward and it cut, it sliced him open completely. Gosh. Spilled his guts all over the floor. People slipped in the guts because they didn't know what happened. They were dizzy. They couldn't get him back. He still, he survived it, but fuck. (laughs) That's when they kind of had to stop. That's when they stopped. The egg bridges or the egg. (laughs) What were we calling You got to draw a line somewhere. Egg bridges. They still have them at like these underground raves in Orlando, but it's really hard to get like to find out where those are. Why are there so many underground raves in Orlando? It's People don't talk the, about that it's enough. The nexus of underground raves. It's so weird. literally underground, a whole system of tunnels <laughs> dug by ravers under there. So the ravers dug, they're digging these tunnels. They don't even know how long, how deep or how big they are under Orlando. It, like <sighs> it's insane. It's like the Parisian catacombs. Completely uncharted. Just uncharted territory down there. Very startling. Don't get stuck. Use a string when you're if you enter, have a string that you're pulling. Did you ever see that picture of the dead body they found in the Parisian catacombs? I think. All melted down there. It's so fucked up because like people just go under there and they get lost and just, you know, their flashlight runs out. And that's a. And you're just under Paris. Could you imagine? Yeah, just under Paris down there, in just the perishing. Ugh. You have to hear everybody kissing and drinking coffee right above you, but they can't hear you. (laughs) (laughs) Clean the wine glass. Yeah, a fate worse than death. (laughs) (laughs) It smells so good. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The waft of baguette. Yeah. (laughs) The cheery barking of French bulldogs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the French bulldogs. They're from France. (laughs) French bulldogs. Man, I was I saw a bad death picture last night that I'd never seen before. What? God. I shouldn't have looked it up. It was bad. It was on somebody's Facebook profile. Have y'all ever seen the dead body of Otis Redding? Hell no. <laughs> the sitting on the dock in the bay guy? The singer? Sitting on his airplane chair frozen. Oh no. The water was so cold he froze. And he's still sitting in his seat. Oh my God. I didn't even know he died in a plane accident. Yeah, and why and Wisconsin where we Jesus went the what time? Christ. Where I went with you. Yeah. Grant He's pull it up. Solid. Yeah. It's Grant, on that Facebook up. profile. <laughs> and everybody was talking shit about the person, like, oh, you don't need to be posting this. Think about his family. And they're right. It was very not in good taste. Yeah. Totally not. And his this ass is, is frozen solid. He looks great. Yeah, this is what he looked like when he died. <laughs> when he that's died. great. <laughs> if you're going to get frozen, <laughs> that's the pose. He froze with a smile. Yeah. Look at that. Maybe that is the way to go if you are in a plane crash. Do it in a really cold lake so your yeah. body can be preserved. And also, you know, we've got the nuclear war coming up. <laughs> yes. And so the trick is if your shadow will get burnt into, the, into whatever. So yeah. find a good place. And like make a cool do a pose, pose. and then yeah. that will be there forever on all these documentaries and stuff. Yeah, some kind of <laughs> what would y'all do? What kind of pose would y'all do? That's a cool one. I do like a like, do you think I'm crazy? Do you think I'm loco? I do something like that. <laughs> 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 I'm not <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> Well, that's good to think about, yeah, because I haven't thought about that, because, yeah, that happens when the A-bombs drop. Well, yeah, well, I'm working on shadow puppets. <laughs> really? Right now. Yeah, because you don't have to just do your body. You could theoretically have shapes. You know, you could have, like, sticks with, like, whatever, whatever yep. it is. You could have stencils. You could have a whole thing for the people to discover later on. Yeah. And try to decipher. Yeah. <laughs> good to know, because, yeah, I think that is, is it soon? The Very nuclear soon. war? Yeah. Yeah. I'm worried about that. Yeah, everything that's happening. What are you going to do to stop it? Why worry? Nothing. You're right. Mm-mm. It's impossible. It's stupid to worry. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There you go. Nuclear war. It's like you were trying to back that ass up, but your ass wasn't close enough to the wall, so it only got your hands and a little bit of your face. So your body needs to be, I think, kind of close up to the wall for it really to I stick. always thought you could just do a shadow. I didn't know you had to be against the wall. When you get evaporated. I think evaporation is probably the, of all the deaths, it's probably the best one. But to make it to the evaporation, you got to get through that shock wave, right? Or is the, or is the heat come first and then the shock wave? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do you just immediately, does it just get really hot? I don't know. And that's wait. It. Oppenheimer come out next week. Can't wait. We'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, that'll be fun. I've seen a couple of previews for that. 
So what did he do? He made the bomb? He was a German guy? Yeah, I saw uh, an article on Yahoo News that said Oppenheimer really earned its R rating. And then it was a picture, it was a real article, and it was a picture of... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> As a picture of Killian Murphy and it, with what appears to be his wife in the movie, and they're in bed. And I was like, do they have sex? Yeah. In Oppenheimer? <laughs> yeah, like, they did. They figured that a way to get his dick in there. Because, like, a, I read it's like full frontal nudity for a long time. Weird. This is about the guy who helped develop the atom bomb. And they were like, that's not enough. We got to show him fucking. Yeah. That's the society we're in these days. People yeah. have to be seeing that shit. It's yeah. TikTok. It's sex. It's <laughs> if it bleeds, it leads. It's just <clears throat> damn yellow journalism all over again. Yep. So messed up. And let's hope yellow fever doesn't hit again. <laughs> that was deadly. Yellow fever was horrible. Go to the like old graveyards and it's just like all the child graves. It's just all of them died of yellow fever, whatever that was. What was it? I don't know. Mosquitoes got you. But that's a mosquito thing. Like maybe it wasn't malaria. It was something like Mm-mm. some blood disease. Yeah, it happened in Memphis. It killed a bunch of people at Memphis. That's what happened to my aunt. She got out later on. Your aunt got yellow fever? How old yeah, are you? Look at her eyes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you turn kind your eyes turn kind of yellow. Oh my God. <sighs> She's looking at some sort of screen, it looks like in that picture. I don't know what she could have been looking at. Because you can't see. Your eyes like look like regular eyes, but just a little yellow, and you can't see. Do you, th- do you think if mosquitoes knew they were making people so sick, like they would feel bad about it? It would change their relationship with. I mean, do they know they're hurting us? Uh, I hope they're they don't realize it because it seems like they go after you. Yeah, all the time. Or is there like an aggression there, like they? Yeah, maybe it's intentional. Yeah. It's scary to think about. Could Would that change thing. things, you think? Like right now we you you don't want you can't, if you get rid of the mosquitoes, you you fuck up the birds. Mm. So yeah. like but if we knew there was an aggression behind it, like somehow we finally could communicate with insects and you realize that every time they're they or, or even worse, they're they're like not just angry, but they're like getting off like they're like it's yeah, sexual for it. them. Oh, they love to see the pain. Do you think Ugh. we would eliminate all mosquitoes at that point? Like that would be the straw that broke the camel's back. I think we need to try. Mm-hmm. I think we need to go out there with gas and ga- probably a bunch of gas. <laughs> just s- set them on fire. Just gas them. Burn them down. Gas them out of the ponds. Dude, I saw them. a video of them of some 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 guys making a mosquito sam a uh, hamburger. <clears throat> Did you see that? Yeah. What is it? Just a ton of mosquitoes. <laughs> you might be able to pull that up. I, my, I I don't remember where I saw it. I may mean, I dreamed it. Yeah, I think <laughs> you can pull it. No, there were so many mosquitoes. <laughs> they compress them down oh into like God. a burger, and uh. are eating like mosquito burgers. No way. Yes, sir. We uh, found it. Uh. Oh, it is real. Grant, pull up the picture of Od- Otis Redding frozen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully you're still looking there for you that. Go. Let's circle back. <laughs> Mosquito burgers. That's it. Uh, uh. Can you imagine? Because it's like, it's not just bugs. Like that's other people's blood in there. Like you're, yes. uh, yeah. you don't know what they've been sucking on. That's pig blood, people blood. Definitely like, like hepatitis blood. Would have to be. And, and you how to be many careful. mosquitoes is that? 10,000. 100,000, 5,000? 5,000 to 6,000. Yeah, 5 to 6, maybe. Six. Yeah, it could be closer to 6. What do you think, Grant? I'm actually actively eating right now. You that eating, uh, eating mosquito a mosquito burger? burger. <laughs> <laughs> of course you have the picture, you devious <laughs> bastard. Don't care how many. They taste delicious. <laughs> yeah, right. About 6,000, I think. Okay, yeah, something around there. Take a mosquito burger with cheese, please. Like, you got to put something on there. I guess a ton of ketchup. Try to forget you're eating mosquitoes. Yeah, if you dress it up correctly, it might make it (laughs) palatable. It could, I don't know. It's a horrific sight. Horrific sight. Apocalyptic. Yeah, I don't even (laughs) want to think about that. It's stressing me out. And also, Eric, we saw an article yesterday. There's a real problem here in Austin now. Some hawk is attacking people. What neighborhood is that? 
A hawk is attacking people Travis in the Travis Heights neighborhood. So if you happen Jesus to live in the Travis Christ. Heights neighborhood, don't go outside until they catch the hawk. How bad are the injuries? Oh, my gosh. They're getting people in the head. They're getting people in the face. I don't know why I said they because it might just be a singular. It might just be one hawk. It's I don't think they've team. figured it out. It could be a team. We, they don't know yet. Lone wolf. Or it could be a lone wolf. Yeah. They got to get the FBI psychologist in on this. Yes. Sort of identify his traits and why he's doing what he's doing. What is good? Like the animal kingdom. It's like orcas are attacking. Now hawks are attacking. Something's up. They know something we don't. Mm -hmm. And we need to figure that out. They're sick of us. It's, it's obvious. We have to be the most annoying animal. Like you have to run from us. Yeah. You have to. We, we, we were loud. Drive yeah, we cars. Stop. Stay up at night. Yeah, some of those gas guzzlers, all the smoke they do out of the back. What are those people thinking with those giant tailpipes and they hit the gas real hard and it's this giant Bl plume. thing, a black plume of black smoke? What are they thinking? That's why the hawks are after. That's why the animals are after just idiots like that. Just people love blowing big, thick, black clouds of smoke. Yep. <laughs> I know I love to. It's human nature. I know you do. Yeah. For centuries, humans have loved big clouds of smoke. And now we're finally dealing with it now. And they almost Hawk like, attacks, uh -huh. orca attacks, mosquito burgers. This is the world we live in. I wouldn't have predicted this. Neither would I have. years ago. Neither would I have. But that's part of the reasons I think Oscar Wilde, I think he was on to something <laughs> Why do you, during look, that play. I, I don't want to do like confrontation in your podcast. But what? would you shut the fuck up about Oscar Wilde, man? Like, ever since we've been friends, all you do, Oscar Wilde this, Oscar Wilde that. I know you love Oscar he's Wilde. He's my favorite. Okay, he's great. Great. Okay, well, I'm glad Case you point. finally got it off your chest. Case You've point. never said that before. Well, it's just at some point, like, okay, find, like. Look at him. Mm, he's handsome. He's handsome. Handsome man. Long face. <laughs> Lipstick all over his grave. Yep. Did you know that? He has lipstick all over his grave. What does that signify? W women go and kiss his grave. I think he was gay. It's not stopping people <laughs> yeah. from kissing his grave. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know he wrote the Grinch, William? Did he? He wrote the Grinch. Oh my gosh. No. Uh, he, uh, he wrote uh, some of the Grinch. Yeah, yeah okay. he didn't write, but he wrote the yeah. best parts. Yeah, he wrote the good, like, and when then he... Dr. Seuss <laughs> fucks yeah. it up. Oh, yeah, Dr. Seuss. I can't believe you didn't know that, Mr. Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde tattoo on your ass. Yep. <laughs> Let's get wild. Have you showed him that? W-I-L-E-D. So dumb. Yeah. I'll show y'all. Grant, I'll show you. <laughs> don't. You don't. Don't let you don't him show it. you. It's... To my butt, yeah, let's get wild, but W-I-L-E-D. Did you truly do it yourself, though? That's the thing I think about. It's like, how do you, like, tattoo yourself yeah, on your Yeah, it's called a poking stick is the method I was using. It's where, yeah, you literally get a How long a did quill. it take? Woo, that one was, what, Erica, three hours? Erica was having to hold open my butt all the whole time just because I get real sweaty back there if I'm messing around back there, so. Wow. You didn't let her help just on principle? <sighs> I wanted to. I mean, tell them. Has tinier print. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's smaller. I was trying, I was trying to go for a really small poking stick. Let's get wild. <laughs> yeah, let's get wild. Teeny, teeny, tiny. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I look. I'm sorry, man, for coming down on you. If like we all have a little bit, like, I was a little surprised sorry. when you just brought sorry. that up. It's just a lot of Oscar Wilde talk. I will stop. I apologize. Casey, I apologize. I like it. I like the Grinch. I think he was great. I love the Grinch. I love the it's Grinch. It's my favorite thing Oscar Wilde ever wrote. <laughs> but yeah, I, 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 when it, like, the other stuff, I'm just not a fan of, man. The Grinch was incredible. <laughs> Smurfs. Oh, yeah, Smurfs. That's mm -hmm. a really good one. Papa Smurf. Yeah. Smurfette. 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 Everybody was there. Yeah. What are some of the other ones' names? I can't even remember. Gargamel. Tyler. Gargamel. Yeah. Tyler. Tyler. He was the, like, skater punk one, I think. <laughs> yeah. Tyler. Tyler uh, Smurf. <laughs> Tyler Smurf, yeah. He was, yeah, like, the teenager one, I think. Yeah. Um, Robert Smurf. Now, here's what's really interesting about Tyler Smurf that a lot of people... <laughs> don't know hmm. is that 
Tyler Smurf, what the voice actor who played Tyler Smurf, was best friends with John Wayne Gacy. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? God. Yeah, and that's fucked up the whole Smurfs and everything when that started trickling out. Because of all of John Wayne Gacy's friends, and he had shit tons of friends, mm -hmm. very popular, really fun to hang out with at great barbecues. Yep. He was the only one who like defended Gacy to the very end. And not like he didn't do it, but here's why he did it and why it was okay. Serious? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, and then like this voice actor is playing this kid. That's the other creepy thing is he's like seventy, sounds like a teenager, and he's playing Tyler. Oh, well, really and old. now this is conspiracy stuff, so it might not be true. You know, shit pops up on the internet. Yeah, sometimes it's not real, but yeah, like apparently Gacy called him his bird caller because he he could make that teenage <laughs> he could make that teenage voice. And he would like oh, call other teenagers into Gacy's house, like, dude, come over here, man. <laughs> and like, <Yeah. laughs> and they'd just go in. Like, it was that good and that powerful. <laughs> That's crazy. So he, Tyler, could be just, he could be involved. He's involved in well, some of that you, stuff. So you watch the Smurfs, you, t you see Tyler Smurf mm -hmm. versus the other voice acting, which is all impeccable. On it's the really good. Mm -hmm. The, uh, but Tyler, you know, you'll you'll watch and like if there's a teen in your house or around you, they will like they they gravitate. They'll look at the TV. It's like it's oh? it's weird. Yeah, like, who is that? Oh, what's that? Yeah, that. Is he just like me? Yeah. Is he just like me? Yeah. <laughs> who is that? Yeah. <laughs> Very weird. Very weird shit. But I don't know if that's true. But I did read that. It could be. It would make sense. I mean, look at the look at that. Hey, dudes. Yeah. Because that's not going to get a lot of teens. Like you're. That's going to be hard to summon teens as like a scary clown. Yeah, because that picture of him right there, that's scary. Well, it's not It's not his most flattering picture. No, he has better ones. He's a big hula guy, I think. And look at Gacy, how fucked up he looks. Oh, you were talking about Tyler. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, Tyler. it's totally. <laughs> Why did he always wear that sack thing on his I head? know. I think he had like aphasia, not aphasia. <laughs> yeah, aphasia? Yeah, he had like dementia. <laughs> I think he had dementia. So every time he had that old dementia hat. <laughs> Did they used to make people with dementia wear that? Yeah. So they could ID you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's sick. Come, come with me. Yeah. Come with me. You're, yeah. probably, you're probably lost. Come with me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they, things me? were so much easier when people's mental illness was identified by their hats. I think that was a good idea. I mean, you could tell right off the bat what you were dealing with. Yeah. You walk into a McDonald's, you see what the person's wearing, you oh, know what you're dealing addict. with. <laughs> oh, yeah, sex addict. I'm not going to get a McFlurry from this freak. Or whatever. I don't know why I said McFlurry. Why not? I don't know. I did, We did go to Dairy Queen the other day, and I got a classic Oreo. Oh, Jesus, God. Yum. Oreo, what are they called? Blast? Blizzard. Blizzard. Oh my God. That thing fucked me up, man. I've had one of those in the last few years. Like other shakes, not so much. The Oreo Blizzard, it like it it made me like collapse. Like it threw my <laughs> blood sugar so bad. Cause I got the biggest one. Oh, did you? They can get pretty you gonna big. Get a, you're gonna if you're getting like that level of fucked up. Yeah, don't food, get a you're, small. You're one. gonna like moderate. Like just yeah, eat as much of it as you as you can or as, as they I dispense. Agree. But yeah, no, that was a bad day. Yeah, I think that was the cause maybe of my hemorrhoid. It's still it's like a smaller size marble now. It's I going down. It shrunk a little. It's shrunk a That's little bit. Good. Yeah, That's good. It's a little smaller. You got to get fiber, brother. You got to like start eating more greens. I know. Figs, probiotics. Yeah, I need to get back on the prune juice. Prune juice. I need to get juice. back on my prune juice bullshit. That was helping, but I drank it the other day and I must have been really clogged because nothing came out. You're in great company because another, speaking of another movie coming out. Yeah. Guess who suffered from brutal hemorrhoids? Who? Napoleon. Oh. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. Napoleon <laughs> suffered from horrific hemorrhoids. Like, I think he had to have a special saddle. He, like, he was fucked up. Like, well, maybe I need to look into what kind of saddle he was using because that's been a problem the bouncing up and down. Or, yeah, man. On a horse with this <laughs> thing up your butt. Yeah, like a hemorrhoid saddle. I need to look up Napoleon hemorrhoid saddle. I think there's, t we're in Texas. I guarantee they have like a hemorrhoid saddle store. They probably do. Mm -hmm. What, they were manufacturing them in Texas or it was just a... 
Man, yeah. Like cool. The Texas cowboy yep. hemorrhoid. That's a staple of Texas folklore. Yeah. Because they, they thought you could cure it in like, by like putting it under the moon. So a common sight in the early days of Texas on the prairies is you would like see like you know, cowboys pants down on a full moon with their asses spread with the light of the moon on their hemorrhoids. Damn. There's a beautiful Johnny Cash song about it. It's like, actually, it sounds disgusting, but it's like a real tribute to cowboy life in Texas. Yeah. Morphin Moonlight. Morphin Moonlight. Morphin Moonlight. Morphin Moonlight. Yeah, it's so beautiful, so pretty. Ooh, I need to look that one up. So that's maybe where they got the phrase that looks like, if you see somebody's butt, like, oh, it looks like a full moon over there. That's exactly that's where, where they where got it the same. From. Exactly. Yeah, is that Interesting. Why? Yeah. You just learned the etymology of that, Grant. Did you already know that? Look at that moon. That's literally a moon that has a little butt yellow, crack. Got a little pair yeah. of pants on. <laughs> that's, the, that's the roots of it. Sick and you know, fuck. some people say it works. Some people okay. say it works. Like, I, I don't, it seems like bullshit quackery, but it could work. But if the moon does it to you, you get bronchitis. Oh. It totally reverses the process. Really? Yeah. 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 There's that's, side effects. That's, so that's a risk. It's not like, that's, you're taking a gamble. Yeah. Dude, I'm going to take bronchitis over hemorrhoids any day of the fucking week. Yeah, I probably would, because bronchitis gets better. One the problem, the, the reason... <laughs> Grant, we have a serious problem in here. The, uh, the, reason, the reason that it stopped, uh, at least like the way they were doing it. I mean, it, it was in, apparently like you would sometimes see a hundred cowboys doing this. And... But it stopped because people who didn't have hemorrhoids were coming in. <laughs> oh, and you know what I mean? It was just weird. Cause like, ruined it for the rest of them. Yeah. That always freaking happens. Yep. Just the posers coming in and messing it up for the OG people like that. That's yeah. screwed up. Yeah, they, they'd hang them. And, and so then, the, then they had to hire, like, they'd have towers set up around the mm -hmm. cowboys, like lifeguards, basically, who, ha you know, had spy glasses in those days. And they had to, like, scan each asshole to make sure there were, like, visible hemorrhoids. And if you weren't showing, then you were out. Getting hanged? You were or at least arrested. Texas doesn't <laughs> fuck around. <laughs> Jury of your peers. Yeah. That's scary. And if they see that you don't have a hemorrhoid, yeah. Ugh. Let's take a peek. Let's just show you. Let's take a peek. So, yeah, sometimes with all this hemorrhoid talk, I guess, I don't know, a lot of people are kind of wondering yeah. if you really have a hemorrhoid. Well, they might. Well, Erica can confirm there is a picture on my phone. I'm not going to show you. Or maybe Grant can put it up on the thing. But it's actually kind of an embarrassing picture because I was like, Erica, do I have a hemorrhoid? And then who would have known there was some doo-doo in my butthole? So it made it that much more embarrassing that I'm trying to show Erica my hemorrhoid and there happens to be doo-doo up in my hole. Just a little bit of poop. It was a ring. A ring around the butthole. Oh, oh you had a ring. I had a ring around you, the you butthole. Look at my hemorrhoid. I was like, look at the <laughs> look shit at the around shit that hole. surrounding it. <laughs> like some awful planet <laughs> with a ring of shit. And then he's, hold he's holding them open and he goes, uh. no, uh no, uh <laughs> Like, you didn't believe Like, she's making it up. I thought she was making it up, and then she showed me the picture, and I was horrified. I was embarrassed. I mean, I try to keep clean down there, but... This sort of thing uh, seems to happen to y'all wow. quite often, <laughs> frankly. I think, I think I've heard probably four or five of these tales of, like, whoopsie, like, my pants fell down, and I have a little bit of poop in my butthole. Like, stuff like that. Well, you guys are perfect. I just don't have that kind of connection with people. If Jesus Christ asked me to show him my asshole... I wouldn't do it. Like, I <laughs> I wouldn't do it if the creator of, I mean, I just. Not even for the creator. You know, so this is, I've heard, I've never been to one of these, these rainbow gatherings. Yeah. Apparently that's a thing where like, they'll make you show them that you're asshole or something. Sorry, anybody who goes to those things, but it's like a hippie thing. It's like, come on, it's your body, man. What are you afraid of? I know you got an asshole. Yeah. And then, yeah, like if, it's like a Manson thing. <laughs> Show me your asshole. What? You don't trust me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Squeaky Fromm used to do all the time. It's a answer. thing. What? You afraid of your body? Come on. It's just an asshole. Oh, God. You got a shit ring.
I know. I have to. And Casey, you're right, man. It's starting. I'm starting to wonder if there's just always shit in my butthole. It's yeah. I've just heard tell of a lot of like, oh, I got a little bit of poop in my butt. And, like, yeah, a bunch of accidental like doo doo. This is why stuff. I'm terrified of augmented reality. I mean, I don't think yeah. people understand the future <laughs> ahead of us because it's like the right now. Thank you, Jesus. We do not have the ability, except maybe if someone kind of stinks, you could guess. You know, obey. You need it for your kids, mm -hmm. but it's gonna get to the point where there's gonna be some kind of chemical detector that you can attach to your iPhone, that you have your AR goggles on, and you just like uh, uh, the percent of shit in someone's asshole will show up next to them as you're doing like a data scan of people. This is the world That'll where- That'll be one of the things yeah, on three the scan. Like, you know, the <laughs> shit ring on asshole, seven hemorrhoids, <laughs> fucked up credit score. Right. <laughs> Favorite colors, yellow. Yes. Maybe you could show favorites of stuff. That's the future we're headed for, man. It's, 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 and like now there's, there's some tech scientists have figured out a way using 5G and just like analyzing Wi Fi, they can like see you walking around your house from that. So if like you have a 5G router, theoretically, they could watch you in your house. And it, it's like not like it, it, it's not like, HD video, it's kind of shadowy, but they can see. So no doing. more privacy. You won't if you want a, a router in your house. You want internet in your house. You people are just gonna be able to see you through your walls. When are we even gonna get there? Do you think? I mean, it already exists, so we probably already are there. That means there's already hackers driving around. Like I don't know why, but doing that, driving around, just looking at people's places. Yeah, just watching people move around in their house. I wish I could do that. I'd love to see what people are doing in their house. Wouldn't it be fun? Yeah, I'd love to do that. <laughs> you love to peep. I love peeping, oh. and I love guessing how much shit's in somebody's butthole. I do, too. <laughs> I love guessing that. I do. They should make a game show. Grant, you might have, I don't know, 1% in your butt right now, or what do you think about your butt, Grant? Pretty clean. Well, I thought mine was pretty clean, but every time I get pictures taken of my hole, it's always shit. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be surprised, Grant. Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> is this uh is this a rainbow party? Do I need to prove it Show to you? Show us your asshole, man. Yeah, we're trying to say please, Grant, come in here. That hole. Yeah. Show us. <laughs> Let me see that hole, Grant. Come on, please. welcome to the gathering. Let me see your asshole. Grant, please. Please let me <laughs> Okay, he's not going to. God well, circle of trust. I mean, once yeah. you get a bidet, which I don't have right now, but I did just take a shower. So if I had to guess, asshole looking good. I mean, as good as an That's asshole good. can look. But the bidet, once you have a fucking bidet, then you realize how filthy you've been your whole life. So you don't even know. Yeah. Most people are, you, especially in the West, they're, they're, they're used to having swamp ass. They're used to like having an <laughs> inevitable layer of shit and bacteria in there. And just like you. They're like, I'm fine. I'm clean down I'm there. No, totally you're not. clean. Yeah. No, you're not. I'm not. <laughs> I you're... wish I could show you all the picture. When I was in, um, <laughs> when I went to India, one of the favorite conversations I had uh, was I was in, in a, I don't know what I was doing in the cemetery in India, but I was talking to uh, this Indian guy. I was in college. I was a little bit more, I was more, much more of an asshole back then, but, and I didn't mean it in a bad way, but you know, the Indian toilets, you're going to get confused because they in, wipe with their hand. They clean their ass with their hand like people do in the shower. So I remember saying to him, what's going on with that? Like no toilet paper, like what? It, and he's like, let me ask you, I can't do any accent, but I'm gonna make one. Up. He goes, let me ask you, if I took some shit and put it on your face, would you wipe it off with a Kleenex or would you wash it off with your hand? It was such a great point. <laughs> you know, so right, he'd immediately probably use your hand. <laughs> but, you know, and it, like we're just more like if you can't see it, it's not there. Yeah. So, but yeah, come on. Even you're just wiping. Even if it comes back white, it's like. There's still you, something you in there. probably use soap and water, really, right? Well, that's what I've been doing, but everybody's calling my ass out on it. But I've just, I don't use the toilet paper. I just use the shower. <laughs> Yeah, well, there are those people. I don't. I don't agree with this, but there are people who will jump in the shower after they shit. 
They have to shower after they shit because they just can't stand having particulates down there. Well, that's me. So that makes it even more horrifying when I see the shit in my butthole. Yeah, like, where did the poop... Are you scared, like, where did the poop come from? Like, was that why you were scared? Like, it might not have even been your poop. That is that more common than crosses yeah. my mind. It's a part of the it, overall story, I think. It's laziness. He wiped one time in Denver for 25 minutes. He's like, never again. So he just doesn't even do courtesy wipes. He just jumps right in. What about wipies? I like those. I'll use wipies. If I have to use a wipey, I'll use a wipey. I think you should. Maybe you should just start using wipies. I know. Maybe I should just start doing that. And I do it some. If I think it's extra gross down there, Erica, so don't be horrified. I, I'll i use a wipey. I don't like they call them wipies. <laughs> a wipey. It's always buggy. Wipey. Wipey. <laughs> Sounds like, you know, something John Wayne Gacy would say. You need a wipey. Yeah. Wipey time. Wipey and then just strangling somebody. Hey, dude, come in here. We're playing with wipeys. We got a six pack huh? of beer. What? Huh? What? <laughs> beer? Six wipeys? pack of beer. <laughs> yeah. Come is that on. Tyler? Is that Tyler? Tyler in there? <laughs> yeah, brother, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's got the best wipeys, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. Beer wipeys. <laughs> yeah, Bud, Budweiser wipeys. Yum. I, I went to a Middle Eastern restaurant maybe a year and a half ago, and I had never used a bidet. I had never been around one. And I went to the bathroom, and I saw that it was a bidet, and it had settings. And so I, I don't know. I thought you could just turn them, and I turned it, and it squirted me right in the chest. Damn it. And, <laughs> like, with Damn a really it. big stream. So then I walked out of the bathroom, and I was, like, soaking wet. Yeah. And everybody was looking at me, and I just left. I was supposed to do a door dash, but I was like... Hi, right, see you guys later. Like, oh, look like man. I went in there and just played in the water and left. Oh, I played in my bidet like a little bird. A little bird bath. <laughs> oh, I love to play in a bidet. <laughs> it's like a really strong stream. It's like scary, kind of. No, uh, that the fancy bidets, like when you would go over to a fancy person's house. They'll have that the bidets that like carbonate the water or whatever. They make bubbles. They'll pulse it. Like it's nuts how advanced bidet technology is. Damn. It's nuts. Can't wait to get one. Carbonated. I try to drink some. Oh yeah, me too. I'm not afraid. It might be like a water fountain. I trust my immune system. Yeah, me too. I totally trust mine. Other than if something's out on the counter for too long, I always have to ask Erica if it's all right to eat. Dude, I saw, I don't remember what it was. It's one of those shows, like, you know, horrible death shows. And I guess this guy had an old coconut or something that he'd like left out for a while, right? And and he, I don't know, opened it. It might not have been a coconut, some fruit, some exotic fruit where, you know, with a banana, you know, it's, you shouldn't eat that, an apple. But this thing, the guy probably saw it at Whole Foods, threw it on his counter. It's like, how are you going to open it? Yeah. So this guy drinks the water from it and then seizure two hours later, hospital dead in like a day of this like horrific, I think a fungal infection that just Yikes. shot through his oh. body. Confirming, I have the same thing, confirming that fear of like, I'm not going to eat that. Like, I don't, oh, yeah. I don't want to die from a old sure. fucking coconut. Neither do I. The pizza's been on the counter for an hour. This isn't safe. No. It hadn't Cro- been refrigerated. And you know, this is a really sad reality. Mm-hmm. If you get mold in your strawberries or whatever, yeah, it's over all the strawberries. Just because you can't see it, mm. it's in there. It's, it's It just hasn't like f- flowered or fruited or whatever they call it yet. So mm-hmm. if, you, if you got mold, don't do the thing where you like go a few pieces of bread down and eat it. That's what I've always done. That's why you have a hemorrhoid. That could be why yeah. I have that thing in my butt. The two, the two piece buffer. You do two piece buffer. Yeah, I've been doing two piece buffer. So you're saying just throw it all away. I mean, I don't know if moldy <laughs> bread is even bad for you. Maybe it's good for you, but if you don't want to eat mold, throw it away. Just throw the whole thing away. Good to know. I mean, yeah, I don't want to die from something like that. Yeah, I die something different. Me too. Hopefully. Yeah. Bicycle wreck. That could be a Fuck fun that. one. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's a pretty violent way to go, I guess. That's yeah. a, well, you'll get the white bicycle. Yeah. Huh. 
Oh yes, yeah. They'll set up a white. We can set up a white bike for you. <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah, right outside the comedy club. <laughs> yeah, but well, you know, you don't there. have to die for the white bicycle. You could just put your own white bicycle up if you wanted to. And have a picture. Yeah. Of your no phone. one's investigating to make sure there's no fraudulent white bicycles. You just drive by and you're like, God, it sucks. I want to earn it. Though. You want to earn it. <laughs> yeah, it could be right out front. We could. Well, just be careful. Somebody just died in a pro bike, uh, the Tour de Suisse. Really? Yeah, he died. They were going like 70 miles an hour and flew off the mountain. Ooh. Some other guy went off with him, but the one guy died. Oh. Yikes. Yikes. You should have, he got in a, he ended up in a really cold pond though, because it was up in the mountains. So he, when they craned his body up connected to the bike, he's frozen to the bike and he had like a smile. So. <laughs> Was it Otis Redding? <laughs> Were you looking up like top five this frozen people? <laughs> top, top five most beautiful frozen dead body pics. <laughs> Otis Redding. Uh, Pierre Zissoua. Yeah, Pierre Zissoua. Colonel Sanders. Mm -hmm. Colonel Sanders was another one. Tyler Smurf. Tyler, Tyler was Smurf. in. That's weird. Yeah, I forgot that that's how, that <laughs> happened to him. Stuck in a walk-in freezer. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he shouldn't have been working as a cook at that point in time in his life, because how was he ever going to get out if somebody shut it on him? What a wild coincidence. We've only been, like, most of the things we've talked about are, like, are the people or the people who who were died and were beautiful in yeah. their frozen state. I know, Tyler, yeah, that was a tragic one. Forever young. Yep. <laughs> Forever young, bro. <laughs> Forever young. <laughs> Gotta love it. I mean, yeah, it would have been a bummer. It would have been a bummer, but he was pretty old. Um, but he looked young. That was the other fucked up thing about that dude. Yep. Nothing creepier than like a 65-year-old man who looks like a teenager. Like, you could not tell the difference. Andy Milanakis. Andy Milanakis is one. Mm -hmm. I remember his television show. There's what? There's a... Two th over 2,000 frozen people in Arizona right now. Yeah, they're just they're too high up in the mountains to get them down. Is that true? Too high up. Well, the there's mountain people, and there's also the people who have their bodies frozen by by, by medicine. But would you want to come back if they and if the people in the future know how to bring us back? Do you want to live in that future? Yeah, that is such a tremendous assumption that in the future that the reality you like reappear in is going to be anywhere you want to be. Right. I assume it's not. I mean... It, but maybe it is. I don't know. We don't know. Like, it could be that, like, in the future, slavery comes back. Yeah. And they just go to the cryogenic clinics because they're like, just fucking resurrect <laughs> yeah. them. Those are the slaves, the people who <laughs> yeah. froze themselves. Oh, no. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> they just realize, like, you know, it's, a, it's essentially, like, free slaves. You just go there resurrect them they they're brain damaged anyway from like they didn't know how to freeze them back then yep and then you just put them to work in whatever weird future awful farms are you know probably you put them to work in like an organ farm where they grow hearts yeah everybody's mad at walt disney because it's just his head so he can't move around that fast he just has like a crab body in his head that is oh that is a wild thing too and you're like you know what i'll just keep the head because that's a yeah, dis just the head. It's discount. Like if you get cryogenically frozen, it's cheaper to just do your head. And again, they're making an assumption that there's going to be able to put a body on them later on. A lot of assumptions. One is that it'll even work. The other one is, you know, implicit in getting decapitated and your head frozen is that you will get your head probably sewn on another person's body. Yep. <laughs> Who's that person? Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to know until you wake up. Right. Like, <gasps> yeah. And then you're like, oh my gosh, whose fingers are they? Because you don't get to, I'm sure, like, you can't choose no. what body you get and they're just going to, like, plop you on whatever. And again, in the future, we don't know what human bodies are going to look yeah. like, what beauty standards are in the future. <laughs> Might be yeah. someone sick. You wake up and then you get one of the sick bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Things start rotting a little. Yeah. yeah. This thing's Ugh. damn rotten. But what, and the other thing is, is there a fund? Like, do you have some amount of money put away so that when they have the technology that you could even afford to get your head 
sewn onto a body or right. Can you buy a house in the future? Do you have enough money set aside to buy a house in the future? Yeah, like you're going to be fucked because you you have to get a job. Yeah, you got to get, you got to start working again (laughs) to start over. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Damn. God (laughs) damn, they throw you out of the cryo clank. All right, you're on your own, Disney. Yeah. What are you going to do? Nobody's going to believe you're Walt Disney. Nobody's even going to know who Walt Disney is in the future. They're not going to care. They're not going to give a shit. You're not going to be able to find the bus to get wherever you're going. Yeah, 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 you won't know. Where are you even going? Everyone will have neural implants. Yeah, you look different. You sound different. You talk different. It's just fucked. And also the the (laughs) assumption in the cryo people is this place is better than where you go when you die. Like, you know, it's like... uh, the people who like take who re up on LSD. If you're a maniac, you might take more LSD mid trip to extend the trip, and maybe that's what the human life is. This is supposed to be just like a 70, 80 year long trip, yep. and there's some of us who are like, no, I want it to be three hundred years or a thousand years. But as soon as you sober up, you're in paradise. We don't know that for sure. You yeah. could just extend your time on this hellscape. Right. I'm kidding. It's pretty nice unless the hawks are going after you. <laughs> and what was that neighborhood? Travis, Travis Heights. Heights. Yeah, Travis Heights. Travis Heights. Stay away. Super Hawk attacks. Hawk Virgo attack. and Mars. Very scary. Uh, Casey, I have a top three for you. Uh, well, Ooh. so I'm thinking of... I'm thinking I might bail on the list. <laughs> I, I wrote a, I wrote a really good song. Did you? Your Two songs last ago. week were wonderful. And it's called How Far Can a Quarter Go? Oh, it's a oh. really good Oh, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. Uh, let me find a generic country beat. Not a beat, but like a guitar or something. Um, yeah, Casey had some wonderful songs last week. He normally does a list, and he had a list and that had included some songs nice. last week. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's hear some. Wait, I get a search generic. Sorry, I should have set this up earlier. Do 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 do. What's the name of the song? That's a little too intense. Uh, it's called "How Far Can a Quarter Go." Okay. Interesting. Uh, this might be a little upbeat. This is my gaming rig? Is a DoorDash commercial. <laughs> All right. Cool. That's not. Nice. Ooh, that's Love a... it. <laughs> okay, okay, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> for your, for your listening pleasure, how far can a quarter go? There comes a time in every woman's life where she's got to make a choice. <laughs> <laughs> the future seems so far from now. When you're sitting in this Kansas town. Thinking about him running round. <laughs> Sitting here staring at the phone, praying, How far can a quarter go? <laughs> 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 Till I lose my voice. Very cool. <laughs> I've got regrets, I told you so. Another thing you didn't know. <laughs> like I had a choice. Very cool. So that's it right now. But damn, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's very good. really nice. <laughs> really nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a real song. It's like kind of like a Dixie Chicks type song. Oh yes, my God. it's really good. Pop country. Yeah, Beautiful. pop country. Pop country. That was wonderful. I loved it. She's like sitting by the phone and she's like, it's like a payphone, right? She has a quarter. She's like, God willing, like this can bring it back or Mm -hmm. something like that. I was so, I was like, is it going to be about money or weed? Is it going to be something? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, Like, how long can I make my bag last? No. (laughs) No, it was about, you know, her like long distance, like the real meaning of that, like how far can a quarter go, both literally and like metaphysically. Yeah. I love it. Kind of deep. It's but. deep. Mm-hmm. It's a lot deeper. Right. I just had no idea at the beginning, but yeah, just the pay phones and. It's very Oscar Wilde, too. It like, really <laughs> yeah. felt like influenced or inspired by Oscar Wilde. It's Wildian. Yeah. Yeah. It's Wilding out for sure. 
For sure. He did a lot of that early country stuff, I think, with Waylon Jennings. I don't, I mean, I, he, I know that he, like, wore, like, super cool boots. Mm -hmm. And you know that, I'm sure, but... Yeah, I think I mean, actually I'm a heard that from fan. you. Now that I think yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm sorry, I w I will stop bringing that up. It's it's a mistake. I'm Not everybody sorry. likes I, Oscar. Oh no, man, I did talk about it as much. It, if it makes you happy, it makes me happy. No, I mean, now. not everybody likes Oscar Wilde. But it's why we like when you like some. It's great. I'm sorry I did that. It was shitty, man. I just wish my hair could look like that. But never, never more, never Wait. less. That was one of his. Never more, never less. Never more, never less. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. That was one of his books of poetry. Never more, never less. Never more, never less. Just talking about going to grocery stores and taking stuff. He was a crazy guy at one shoplifter. point. Shoplifter. Shoplifter. Yeah. Huge shoplifter. Yeah. Vagrant. Yep. Yep. He lived behind the stores a lot of the time. Yeah. So they could find him pretty easily. Yeah, it was so easy to find him because he would always have a tent behind the stores he shoplifted from. I think he liked getting caught. <laughs> Me too. It was part of the thrill for him. Yeah. You have like a banana peel on his head. He, I mean, he looked like a vagrant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had that banana peel thing. That's a classic sign. Somebody's a vagrant if there's a banana peel somewhere on their body. Not necessarily their head, but their shoulder. Yeah. Coming yeah. out of a pocket. It's, I have no idea what it represents, but I think to them it means something like where it is. Like on the head, in the pocket, it means different things. Yes, I totally think so. Yeah, they have their own little language. Mm-hmm. So is anybody ever going to crack that code? It's like the Zodiac cipher. They think the Zodiac might have been a vagrant. Uh, the Zodiac uh, killer? Yeah. It could have been. You know a lot about Zodiac, don't you? The Zodiac killer? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I mean, you have to if you're if we're rating serial killers by style alone, Zodiac Killer is at the top. Zodiac Killer was like a time of like serial killers have grown increasingly boring. Like you go from Zodiac Killer dresses like a beekeeper, goes into parks, stabs people. Yeah, he had that scary looking hood thing, didn't he? Pretty cool. Sight, yeah, like scary. sending like coded messages to the cops. So here you have like a very motivated, ambitious, interesting serial killer. But then as time progressed, serial killing became increasingly mundane. And mm -hmm. so then you get like uh, Dahmer. Like of all the serial killer interviews, no one gives a worse interview than Dom. <laughs> like, for one of the worst serial killers, he will put you... To, he was so boring. Yeah, yeah. So boring. And, and like, Bundy, at least, was, like, such a hyper-sociopathic narcissist that he somehow managed to, like, in interviews at the end, he acted like he was doing a public service by letting mm -hmm. people know it was pornography that made him turn into a serial killer. So he still got to be the hero of his story. Bun uh, Dahmer is just fucking boring. Gacy, clown. Yeah. And, and, and you know, he, scary story about Gacy is there's this college kid who was doing some kind of awful, like, dissertation, I think, on serial killers and started writing letters to John Wayne Casey mm -hmm. in the character of the people he liked to murder. Like essentially seducing, uh, what do they call it? They call it um, when you lie about who you are online. Catfishing. Catfishing, yeah. jo uh, John Wayne Casey. So then Gacy like invites him to the prison and he goes and he's sitting in a room with John Wayne Gacy and like the guard left him alone in a room with John Wayne Gacy. And he realized, like, this guy could easily just kill me right now. Like, what does he have to lose? Yep. But apparently, he said his eyes, his eyes were so, like, inhuman that he can't get his eyes out of his head now. Like, yeah, creepy. Yeah. It's like he, in, in the paper, like, he said, the only thing he can come to now when he jerks off is like pictures of Gacy's eyes. Damn. <laughs> so that erotic and erotic love yeah that's interesting people get into that sort of like erotics love yeah <laughs> erotics called the last victim right i think they wrote a book about that guy called the last victim. my my friend told me about it i don't know 
One of my OnlyFans. I think he might have killed subscribers. One of your only. <laughs> yeah, d- you've. How's that going? Great, 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 great. I never thought that I would experience what I'm experiencing now. Uh, it's so incredible to be this rich from OnlyFans. Like, okay, it, just money. Why? Just specifically, even money. I, I made two hundred and fifty thousand dollars last last month. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> what? I know. Like at first, I wasn't going to say anything about it because I feel guilty about it, mm-hmm. you know. And, and I, I know, like, uh, blah blah blah. People are sex negative, but fuck. Are you, you doing some... you're doing sex stuff? Yeah. Oh, cool. What sort of like what could if if we were to log on today and become one of your patrons on there, one of your subscribers, what could we expect to see in the first five okay, minutes? Okay, I'm glad you brought that up because I knew I was coming on your show. We have a special offer code for okay. the next uh, two weeks. After this uh, goes up, you'll have to let me know when it comes Yes. Up. So if you uh, go to my OnlyFans, Duncan's Feet, uh, mm-hmm. it's Montgomery. Montgomery is the code. And then, yeah, okay. you, you will get like three free um scenes and okay. and I scenes. will and I will send a personalized foot pic cool. to the first fifty people who use that offer code. So offer code Montgomery and then you get three free scenes, which a scene could be the scenes last. we shot. The I will personalize the feet pics, but only okay. for the first fifty. First fifty he'll personalize uh nice. and three scenes and a scene could last up to what, five, ten minutes? Depends on who the photographer is. Okay. That's offer code Montgomery for 10%. Off. Thanks, you guys. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Grant, for putting that up there. Yeah. Yeah, so, that's it. But we're not with the quotes. Yeah, just Montgomery. Go ahead and pop those quotes up. I don't want to confuse people. It's Montgomery. Yeah. That's it's it. The, yeah. Use code Montgomery when you're getting on Duncan's feet. Uh, Only fans. Duncan's feet. 10% off at checkout. <laughs> and we might even throw in if Duncan's cool. With I'm that. sorry, I don't mean to be confusing or demanding, but it's with a Z because I wanted it to be like erotic. Ooh, and cool. yeah, that's fine. Duncan, <laughs> kind of like a skateboard thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not with Arizona. Oh, uh, the S. Hey. Replace the S with a Z. I don't want to confuse folks. Duncan's. Duncan's. Yeah, Z. That's it. That's it. Cool. <laughs> Duncan's feet. And Montgomery is the code. And, you know, I don't want to, like, pat myself on the back here or anything, and you guys can make fun of me all you want. Uh, and you can come down on me all you want or whatever. Stop. What are you about to not, say? Not you, but just people online. Okay. There's a bias against, like, OnlyFans performers. It is an art. The photographers I use are top-tier erotic photographers. Mm. Please don't call it smut. Yeah. If you call it smut on Twitter, I'll just ban you right away. Yeah, so no this is an banned. art. It's not easy. I have to get pedicures every two days. That's time consuming. Yeah, and fucking expensive. It yes. adds yes. up, but yes. it doesn't matter. I mean, the profit margin is insane. It still works out Dude, financially I'm, it's with insane. the profit margin. It's insane. That's cool. Yeah, 250K in a month? And, the, wow. and here's another thing. If you see me outside barefoot and you recognize my feet, can you just give me, like, if I'm with my family, especially, like, just. Just like a nod, like a nod. Yeah. Do you don't yeah. need to come up. No offense or anything, but it just, my wife doesn't know. Yeah. Just nod. Don't be coming up. Yeah, saying yeah. Do stuff. You like a, I would say default. And of course, I'm, I don't mean to speak for you, but I would default to sort of fight club logic where it's like, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just a nod is cool. Yeah. And I like, that is a cool. Yes, like, and it make, does make my day yeah. when I get those nods. I'm sure it does. I can only best. imagine. It's the best. Putting that kind of joy in people's lives. And- that is why I do it, aside from the money, 100%, because I know like a lot of people are just, I, you know, I get some of the sweetest messages. I love my fans so much. I know why they call it OnlyFans, because mm-hmm. I love my fans so much. And thank you guys so much for supporting me and my family. Yeah, for sure. Thank everybody for doing that. And remember the code and have some fun on there. And who yeah. knows? Maybe if you're lucky, you'll see that picture with the little duty ring. <laughs> Would you really do that? Maybe. That I there. mean, if you get the enough people. Right. Yeah. If if you get enough people oh, using the, the promo code. over here. <laughs> and the, the price is right. Manager. I mean, it is embarrassing. It's a ring. It's a brown ring. Like it, on the outer skirts of my butthole. He'll show you after. 
You know William's ring. It's got a ring to it. Ooh. Uh, William's ring. Just a bunch of pictures of a ring of the doo-doo in the butt with the ring. Every time a bell rings. Every time a bell. Yeah. And Angel gets his <laughs> cream. Angel on gets, his rings. <laughs> yeah, gets his rings. Oh. That's a good shoot. Listen, I can connect you with a photographer who can set you up because I already did a whole angel theme thing with like wings so on my feet. So they have the stuff. Okay. So like, <laughs> so yeah, man. Like, <laughs> we could do like a like wings on like on your butt. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, let's. Well, maybe when you log on, you'll see that has come to be. Well, Duncan, thank you so much. Thanks for, for having me. Being I, on our so show, fun today. hanging out with you guys. Thank you. I loved your song. Oh, Thanks thank for having you. the guts to sing that. It took a, <laughs> it took a lot, but it I felt know, good I to get tell. it out. It's beautiful. Yeah, it was great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, one last thing. Are we done recording? Can we come back on? Is it too late? Not too late. We're, we're still going. Hey, guys, real quick. Any product they advertise on here, just use offer code Duncan. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Promo code Duncan for anything we ever do on here. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at IBrettMyPants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.